Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, hello, Calvary. I'm Pastor Sean, and I have your word for the day. Uh, This past camp season, we just got back from junior high camp, actually, in this past camp season, uh, we had an incident with one of the buses. You see, one of the buses had the check engine light come on, and the bus driver wouldn't move any further in the trip until we switched buses. This was going to be an inconvenience. This was going to be a pain in the butt. Um, We had to take all of the luggage from the bottom, move it over to the middle, uh, move it over to the other bus, take all the kids and their stuff, make sure we didn't forget anyone or anything. And it was just an inconvenience. But as I was communicating with parents and as letting them know that, hey, we're going to be a little later coming home, um, I got the thought process of, man, what was God actually saving us from? And so I took this bad situation, this kind of stinky situation, and I just got thinking, you know, God has saved us from so much more in the past. He's probably saving us from something in this moment too. Whether it was an accident on the road, whether it was uh, uh, a worse breakdown or an accident with us, uh, whatever the situation was, I trust that even in that moment that stunk, God was in it and saving us from something greater. And that's what today's passage is about, Psalm 124. It's so short, I'm actually just going to read it to you. If the Lord had not been on our side, let Israel say, if the Lord had not been on our side when men attacked us, when their anger flared against us, they would have swallowed us alive. The flood would have engulfed us. The torrent would have swept over us. The raging waters would have swept us away. Praise be to the Lord who has not let us be torn by their teeth. We have escaped like a bird out of the fowler's snare. The snare has been broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. As I was reading this psalm, this very short psalm, I was looking at the question that the the psalmist was asking. If the Lord had not been on our side, then what would have happened? And thinking of all these things like the bus incident and and more incidents happening in my life, uh, I get to stop and, and not be taken over by negative things in my life, not be taken back by negative things in my life, because I get to look back at all the things that God has already done for me. Um, just like this passage says, the, if the Lord had not been on our side, then things would have been much worse. And what I want you to do as you're reading over this very short psalm, which I hope you get your, a chance to read it yourself, but as you're reading over this very short psalm, I want you also to look back on your life and ask, where has God intervened? Where has God helped me? Where has God, in hindsight, showed me that He's been with me through and through? And then when terrible situations happen to you, when you get in, in, in bad situations relationally, and, and physical pain, and financial issues, and whatever else you got going on, I pray that you get to look back and remember that the Lord has been with you and so much worse things and so much deeper things, and he's gotten you through those things. So just like the bus situation, if you get into a bad situation, I pray that you look at not just the positives in in life, but rather God in your life. With that, Calvary, have a great day, and I'll see you later.